Hey guys, if you are anything like me, you are knee deep in Preptober and NaNoWriMo goodness, and you are trying to figure out what tools are the best ones to use to plan your novel. I still think one of the best tools you can use is a series Bible, because it not only allows you to plot a novel, but you can also keep all of your character and world building profiles all in one place. You can also use it as a reference when you're writing a book, use it to help you edit a book, and it keeps track of all those pesky details when you go to write a book series. Although I've already done a video about how to create a physical series Bible, today I'm going to show you how to create a digital series Bible without spending any money on a new program like Scrivener that will keep all of your prepping organized so you can not only plot easily, but plot on the go. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brittany Wang. I'm an author of an upcoming YA fairy fantasy series. And on this channel, we discuss author platforms, writing community, and share writing tips just like this one. So if that sounds good to you, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Now, like I said before, I already have a physical series Bible or novel Bible or story binder, whatever you want to call it. But the big reasons I didn't first create a digital series Bible was number one. I knew that it would take forever to search through a document that I knew was going to get massively long and hard to find what I needed, or I was going to need to make multiple documents that would need to be open one by one. Number two, I knew that if I didn't buy Scrivener, which now has an iPhone app, which I didn't realize until very recently, there wasn't an easy way for me to edit my documents on the go. I could only edit them when I was sitting at my computer, and I tried to use the Evernote app as an alternative to Scrivener, but even that proved a little cumbersome, so I went physical. Now, I still love my physical story binder, and I plan to continue using it in some way, but recently I found out about this awesome tool that both Word and Google Docs have that seems to be solving all of my problems I had with creating a free digital series Bible. Are you ready for this? The key is headings. I first learned about this tool from Melissa at Hopeful Happenings and I'll link her video below, but here's how this works. As you can see here in Word, there are different heading styles. So normal, heading one, two, three, etc. And when I format the category or subcategory titles I have here in this doc with those heading styles, they create a functional clickable index in this navigation pane over here. So when I want to add or look up a note about a certain character, a place in my world, a plot point, now all I have to do is click and I'm there. And the best part is if I wanna now take this on the go, all I have to do is upload this document to Google Docs and I can continue to edit it on my computer or my phone or wherever I am. Isn't that awesome? Go ahead and click that like button on this video if you're excited to learn how to do this for yourself and let's jump into it. So the first thing you wanna do is open a blank document in either Word or Google Docs and type out all the categories and subcategories you wanna include for your series Bible. Then you're going to wanna to open up the navigation pane and assign your headings so they pop up like mine have popped up here. Now, before I walk you through the steps for how to do this in both Word and Google Docs, I want to let you know that I've already created a template for you to use, which includes all the categories you see here in this series Bible. This template is formatted differently than my physical series Bible templates so that the navigation pane functions correctly. And when you directly upload this template to Word or Google Docs, the headings are already set up and you can edit them however you like. That link to this free template will be in the description box below, or if you're already a member on my website, you can already access this on the members page. But if you still want to create your own template from scratch, or you just want to know how to edit this template once you've uploaded it, here we go. First, I'll take you through Word. I have a 2011 version, but you should be able to follow similar steps to find these items in whichever version you have. First, you wanna open up the navigation pane and you're gonna find that when you click on view and then here you can see that you can click the navigation pane on and off. Then to format your headings, all you wanna do is make sure you are looking at the home tab here and then highlight the category or subcategory you want to change and then select the heading style you wanna use and watch it pop up in the navigation bar. Or if you're not seeing this tab for whatever reason, you can go up to the very top, click format, and then style, and then click the heading style you desire. 
If you want to change the look of your headings, which, you know, these are sort of bland and maybe you want to be a little creative, all you have to do is right click on the heading style up here in the home tab and click modify. Or again, you can go to format and then style and then modify. If you rather just start out creating or editing your template in Google Docs, here are the steps for that because it is a little different. In Google Docs, they actually call the navigation pane the document outline. So all you need to do is go to view and then show document outline. To format your headings, similar to Word, you highlight the text, but then you go to this box here to select the desired headings. To change the heading designs in Google Docs is a little backwards, but still good. You actually first format a category title to how you want the new heading to look. So I'll do that real quick right here. And then with it highlighted, you go to the heading title and click the arrow here and just say update to match. Now, when you go to other headings that you want to look the same, you can highlight and click that heading and it'll match with the design of the first one. And that's it. How cool is that? Sorry, I'm a little excited, but if you're excited too and you don't want to waste any time trying to create this template from scratch, remember I have this template as a free downloadable for you in the description. And if you end up using this tip or the templates, definitely let me know how it goes and if you have any questions in the comments. If you don't want to miss any more of my Preptober tips this month, you're not only going to want to be subscribed to this channel, but I'll also be sharing a lot on my Instagram, in my newsletter and you might also want to join my plotter life writers facebook group as we'll be doing weekly preptober discussions to help you prep during nano we are going to have writing sprints and we're also going to host our epic nano cabin which is going to be harry potter themed i'm so excited anyway happy preptobering you guys and until next week happy writing <laughs>